Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me marathon. So you're going to get cleaning motivation for your entire house. So whether you're cleaning bathrooms, doing laundry, cleaning your bedroom, kitchen, wherever it is, you're going to have motivation in this video to get some things done. Now it's been a while since I've done a clean with me marathon on my channel. So I hope you guys are excited. I get requests for them all the time because you guys say you love long cleaning videos. So hopefully this gets you motivated and it also gives me a chance to finish filming and editing some upcoming videos. I have so many fun cleaning, organizing, DIY projects that are planned for the new year. So make sure that you're subscribed. That way you don't miss any of those upcoming videos. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this cleaning marathon. I hope you guys have an awesome week and get lots of cleaning done. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me. I have so much cleaning in this video. I'll be cleaning all over my house. I'm also deep cleaning my shower, which was super disgusting. And I ended up using our steam cleaner for the first time. And I got so much done in this video. So hopefully it motivates you guys to get some things checked off of your to-do list. And if you stay till the end, you'll also get to see how we ended up decorating for Halloween. I just threw in a bunch of stuff with our fall decor and I hope you love it. So let's go ahead and get into this cleaning. We're gonna start here in the kitchen. As you can see, it's not horrible, but we do have a little bit of a mess to clean up. Now, if you didn't see my last video, I posted my morning routine, and one of the things that I do each morning is my quiet time, and as you can see here, I have a journaling Bible, and so I've been trying to do some journaling lately, but part of my morning routine is to just go ahead and pick up around the kitchen and the living room, and usually the mess from whatever we've made for breakfast. Now, just so you guys don't think I'm crazy and talking to myself, I was actually on the phone with a friend and talking to her while I was cleaning. And I do this a lot of times in the mornings. I will um, get on the phone with a friend or I will listen to books while I'm cleaning. It just makes the time go by a little bit faster. So as you can see here, I'm going to wash these dishes by hand and I was just going to mention this since I'm washing the air fryer. I've been using this so much lately and I've actually been doing a lot of like pita bread um, pizzas and I'll use chicken and I just get the already cooked grilled chicken breast that you can freeze and then I will actually cook those in the air fryer and they turn out so, so good. And if you guys would like to see some of those recipes that I've been using with the air fryer, let me know and I can actually share some of those in either these videos or I can put them over on my Team Darley channel. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me But when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem, you become like a wall And every time I trip, it's a free fall Why don't you help me the way I help you? You don't have to save me, just be my parachute When I'm feeling down, you're just not there Making sure I'm okay Why don't you help me the way I help you? Here on my stovetop, I actually use the Method Degreaser and I've been using it for so long and I feel like it's the best product that I've used so far for my stove countertop. It gets all the gunk off really, really easy. So what I do is I just spray it on and then I take a wet sponge and I use that to get all of that caked up stuff off that's dried on there. And then I will actually take a dry cloth and wipe it all up and it turns out super nice and shiny.
Now on my countertops, I'm using the Caldrea countertop spray and I mentioned this a few videos ago. I got it from Grove Collaborative and honestly, this stuff smells so good. I've been wanting to actually wipe my countertops down a whole lot more lately just so I can have this fresh, clean smell in my kitchen. <laughs> Now on my wood countertops, I'm using Method Wood for Good Cleaner, and I've talked about this for so long too. I also get this one off of Grove Collaborative, but you can get it from Target. And then I do use the Kitchen Jaws Cleaner, which you're gonna see me use that on my stainless steel appliances in just a minute. And you can actually use that on any of the surfaces in your kitchen, which is what I do when I'm in a hurry and I only wanna use one product. I wanna get it done quickly, then I can use this all over, but I'm just gonna use it on my stainless steel today because today was a day that I wanted to clean and have a bunch of really good smelling products. All right, now we're moving on to the living room. And as you can see, the kids have piled up all of the pillows and blankets on one couch. And then Gracie June actually took the little paper that goes into the Amazon packages and she decided to draw some pictures for Chance. And I thought it was so cute and such a good way to reuse that paper that otherwise would have been just, I guess, put in the recycle bin. I guess it could have still been recycled, but Gracie June has been wanting to draw all over them lately and make little posters and things like that so I think it's a fun way to reuse that stuff All right, it is the next day and I am actually gonna go ahead and clean my sheets, put on some new fresh sheets that are already washed. I have two sets that I use for my bed, so I always have one clean set. That way when I get ready to wash my sheets, I can go ahead and put the other clean set on. So it just makes it a little bit easier. But after I get done doing this, I'm actually gonna move into my master bathroom and I'm gonna be deep cleaning in there and you guys are going to get so grossed out when you see my shower.
Now before we get started cleaning, I'm turning on this McCullough steam cleaner. It's actually Chance's. He's been using this for months in car cleaning, so he's been doing that in his videos. And I told him, I was like, I really wanna use this in the shower because our shower has just gotten so gross. So I'm gonna clean out the shower, I turn on the steam cleaner, and I have to wait for the pressure to build up before I can start using it. But this is a look at our shower before. It had so much soap scum build up. It was just really, really gross and it needed a good deep cleaning. No judgment zone here, you guys. I hate cleaning my shower. This is probably my least favorite thing in the, in the house to clean, and I honestly would rather clean toilets than clean the shower. And here you're gonna see, I tried to take this little stopper, door stopper, whatever it's called, off, but I couldn't get it off, so Chance, with his big old muscles, <laughs> came in and took it off for me because that thing was really gross. I'm gonna clean that later. And I can't wait for y'all to see the big difference it makes when I clean it down. But I'm starting here in the shower and I'm actually using the Jaws shower cleaner. It's like a foaming shower cleaner. And then I'm going over it with the steamer and then I'll actually rinse it all off when I'm done cleaning each area. Now this was one of the nastier areas in the shower. The whole floor of the shower was actually really gross. But I just took off the steamer head that we had on before and we have a few different attachments. This one that I'm using here actually has like a scrub brush on the end so it makes it a little bit easier to scrub in between those cracks and also steam at the same time. But honestly, we were not getting the results we wanted. It was still looking kind of gross. So I pulled out this mildew stain remover and it's actually for like outside surfaces and it's probably because it's super strong and you probably need to wear a mask with it but we used it on there and you can see it works so good we just sprayed it on let it dry and then wiped it off and then we did end up going over it with a steamer tube but you can see in this little shot here how clean it got that little area and now we're going to do the rest but before we do that i wanted to take the drain out because our shower was not draining i wanted to clean all the hair and gunk out of that and it was so gross i hate doing this chance usually does it for me but for this video i just went ahead and did it <laughs> But now that we know that the mildew remover works really well in here, we're actually gonna spray down the entire shower. I'm actually gonna go outside and clean out the shower drain piece because it was really gross. I didn't want it in my sink. And Chance is going to finish spraying down the shower in here and also steaming it. You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk You are the one that I just need to feel love You saved me from the broken house that I built You took me in with open arms Chance is begging me to clean the shower What? Mm -hmm. I was begging you to do it? Yeah No, begging you to let me, begging me to let you do it. Well, after I saw you doing it, <laughs> the stuff stained your eyes, by the way. Ooh, wear a mask. And goggles. Which I have. All right, so here is a close-up of what the drain looked like, and we kept wondering why it wouldn't drain even when we pulled the hair out, and now when you flip it over and you see, it's so gross. So I just sprayed it down with some Clorox bleach, and I am using this little tool that I got off of, got off of Amazon to get in these crevices and get all that gunk out, and then I'm gonna spray it down. It took me several times going over this to get all the hair, all the gunk that was stuck in there, but eventually I did get it clean. Some 
Now here's a look at the door stopper piece that goes on the bottom of the door and you can see it's so gross. It's got lots of soap scum in there. So I'm actually going to use the mildew remover stuff on that too. And that same little tool to scrub on the inside and then I'm going to rinse it down. I did go over this a couple times too just to make sure that it got really clean. This stuff is magic. <laughs> now the last part that I'm using the steamer on is the door and I'm just using it here. This is where the stopper goes, but you can see some of that soap scum has built up on there as well. And this worked really well. I didn't have to do anything else but use the steamer. And then I did kind of wipe it down with a rag afterwards. And then here I'm just using Rain-X to clean the inside and outside of the door. Now here are a few shots of the before of the shower just to remind you of what it looked like before we cleaned it. And then I'm going to share with you the after shots and how amazing that mildew remover worked in here. And like I said, I think it works really, really great, but I would definitely wear a mask or goggles to protect your eyes and even make sure that your bathroom is very ventilated. Maybe open some windows, turn on some fans, things like that, because it definitely is a very strong product. Now I'm just going to clean out our caddies that go in the shower and the bathtub and then also our shower stool and then I will be cleaning out the bathtub. Hallelujah, I have the bathtub and the shower clean, my least favorite part of cleaning my entire house, and I can move on to cleaning the rest of the bathroom, but I would love to know, what is your least favorite thing to clean in your house? And you know how I said earlier that I would rather clean the toilet than the shower? I was not lying. I feel like it takes me no time at all to clean the toilet. And what I've been doing lately is I will actually take a little piece of toilet paper and wipe off the top of the toilet with that first because it kind of dusts it. And then I'll use my Clorox wipes so that way I'm not like spreading dust all around. You know how it gets like wet and the dust just spreads all over your toilet? 
So using the little piece of toilet paper first can help with that. And then I just use my Clorox wipes, my Clorox wand, which is amazing. If you have not gotten a Clorox toilet bowl wand yet, I highly recommend it. They smell really, really good. And then it also makes it to where it only takes like two seconds to clean your toilet bowl. Now the last thing I'm gonna do here in the bathroom is vacuum and mop. And while I had my vacuum out, I went ahead and vacuumed in here on the rug. I like to vacuum in here almost daily because Cooper's in here so much. So I'll just bring this little cordless Musu vacuum out and I will vacuum in our bathroom and in our room at least once a day or every other day just to keep that dog hair um, contained. Now I'm going to do this load of laundry. I actually just put our comforter in the dryer so while I'm waiting on that to dry, I'm going to do this load of laundry and then put it away. Alright, so this is the last thing that I got done on this particular day, but it felt so good. I felt like I got a lot accomplished and it really took me a long time to clean that bathroom, so that was a success for sure. And now we're on day three of cleaning and on this day I just did the kids bedding, so I washed that and then I also dusted in their bedrooms. Now both of my kids have the Betty's bedding on their beds and I absolutely love this for kids. I feel like it just makes it super easy for them to make up their beds and then it also makes it easy for me to put their bedding and everything on their beds. So if you can't tell here, the bedding is actually one piece and then you can unzip the top piece to pull it all the way off. So if you wanted to wash those pieces separately, you could, but when you're putting them back on, it just makes it easy because it's all one piece and it goes on like a fitted sheet. And then the zippers make it easy for your kids to make and unmake their own beds. So I just love these, but if you are interested in checking these out, I do always leave the link to them in the description box with my coupon code for 20% off. And I also have a lot of other favorites linked down in my description box or things that I get frequently asked about. So definitely check that out if you are interested in anything. And if you have questions about anything, just leave them in the comments too. I went by your house, what a big mistake. So 
open your eyes and take my advice. Stop rolling the dice and just compromise. It's the chance of your life. So when I was putting Gracie June's bedding back on her bed, I noticed that one of her pillow shams was still a little damp. So I went and threw that back in the dryer with Kaysen's bedding. And then it was actually really late when we got home and I put Kaysen's bedding on his bed. So I didn't end up filming any of that stuff. And now it is the last day of cleaning for this video. I'm actually going to vacuum and mop downstairs. And just so you guys know, on the days that I do the mopping, I like to go ahead and vacuum beforehand. And I vacuum all my area rugs and everything. And my all-time favorite vacuum is this Shark Uplight. I have it linked in my description box. And I think it's on sale right now too. So definitely check that out. But this vacuum is my favorite because it is so heavy duty. It picks up so much. And this is just from doing that one area. So it was completely empty before that. And you can see how much dirt and dust and dog hair it picks up. And honestly, I could do one rug in my house. And I do this once a week. So just so you guys know, I do this once a week. And I also use my other vacuum daily. But it just doesn't pick up nearly as much as this one does. But I could do one rug and it picks up so so much so if you are looking for a really really good heavy-duty vacuum then definitely check this one out I have it linked below and now I'm gonna move on to mopping and I'm just using my O cedar spin mop and then I have pine saw which I have been using forever I just love the way it smells and I love the way it makes my hardwood floor shine so I'm gonna use that to mop the entire downstairs but you look so amazing. And we
All right, you guys, now that all the cleaning is done, I'm gonna give you a quick look at the house and what it looks like with our Halloween decor. Like I said earlier, I didn't go crazy this year. I feel like I kind of ran out of time, but my kids love Halloween, so I did want to do a few decorations here and there, and Gracie June actually helped me do all of this, but I changed up my table runner here in the dining room and then added a few little spooky touches here and there, but I just tried to make sure that everything that I put out, I could actually leave out with all of my regular fall decor. And I also wanted to mention that over on my Team Darley channel, I posted a video. We did a Halloween family movie night with some snacks and games and things, and that was a lot of fun. So in case you're looking for a fun idea for that, go check out that video. But I'll leave a link to my Team Darley channel down below too, in case you have never seen it. Um, but that is all of the cleaning for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got tons of motivation. Don't forget to check out Glossy Box and use my coupon code Amy at checkout so you can get your first box for $16 and get $10 off of that advent calendar box. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Darley. If you're new, then welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me, so I've got lots and lots of cleaning motivation. I'm also taking down our Halloween and fall decor and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I'm storing it this year. And I also got some new tubs in, so I'll share all of that stuff with you. I'm also gonna be sharing a grocery haul in this video and a super easy crock pot meal that we really, really love. And if you missed last week's video, I also shared a crock pot meal in that video and you guys seem to love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that it gives you tons of motivation to get some things checked off of your to-do list today. All right, guys, so this is my to-do list for today. Last week, I shared with you my to-do list, and a lot of you seem to enjoy seeing that at the beginning, so you kind of see what's coming, but I am gonna be tidying up downstairs. I need to go pick up groceries today, start a Crock-Pot meal. I shared a Crock-Pot meal last week, too, so go check out that meal. It was so good. Um, and then I need to clean and declutter the playroom. Y'all, when you see this playroom, you are going to be so surprised at how dirty it is. It's such a mess. Um, and then I'm also gonna be decluttering it. Make candy bags, I'm gonna probably do that with the kids after they get home from school. And then I have some laundry to do because we have laundry all the time, it's never ending. All right, so to start this to-do list off, I am back from picking up my groceries. I'm gonna share a quick grocery haul with you and then I'm gonna put these groceries away and start the cleanup. All right, I am going to do a really quick grocery haul. Um, I shared with you guys in my last video our meals for the week. And just in case you missed that video or you need a little reminder, this is our weekly menu for this week. It is already Tuesday. So yesterday we had chicken on top of a salad. So we just did a rotisserie chicken, some veggies on top of a salad. Tuesday is crock pot barbecue chicken sandwiches, so I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot in just a few minutes. Wednesday is crock pot lasagna. Thursday, crock pot meatballs and rice. And as you can see, our crock pot meals are like saving us so much during the week because we have so many things after school that we are doing. Um, Friday is pizza, and then Saturday we have a Halloween party that we're going to. And then on Sunday, we're gonna do crock pot sausage and potato casserole, so. I will show you our grocery haul now. All right, so starting over here, I've got some triple zero Greek yogurt. This is the strawberry flavor. They have lots of different flavors, but this one's my favorite. And then also the mixed berry. I got a couple things of muffin mix because we like to keep these on hand. I always make these for the kids on Monday. So I got wild berry and chocolate chip. Chocolate chip is their favorite. I also got a bunch of Lunchables. My kids like to eat these as snacks sometimes, and then every now and then they will take them for lunch. It just kind of depends on what they're serving at school, but um, sometimes they beg for these to have them at lunch, and so I will occasionally give them to them. All right, and then I always make sure to have canned chicken. Cholula 
hot sauce. This is the green pepper flavor. If you love spicy, this is awesome. I've been out of this for a while and have actually been searching and every time I do grocery pickup, I try to find it and they never have it. I even looked on Amazon and couldn't find it. But this time they had some, I probably should have gotten a couple because who knows if they'll be out of this for a while again. I always look at Publix, I look at Kroger, I look everywhere for this stuff and haven't been able to find it in months. So I finally got some of that. I'll move right here. I got some provolone cheese and some turkey for sandwiches. And then tonight we're having the barbecue chicken sandwiches. So I got a huge thing of barbecue sauce, some buns, and then we're going to do some sweet potato fries in the air fryer for that. Um, another thing that I have been eating a ton of lately and I've shared are the homemade egg McMuffins. These are the English muffins. I get the 100 calorie light multigrain ones and I just throw an egg or sometimes I'll do egg whites and then like a um, laughing cow cheese wedge with it. Even some Bolt House, the honey chipotle, I think it's honey barbecue ranch. I don't remember. But anyways, these are really, really good. Low in fat. Better for you than McDonald's ones, but McDonald's ones aren't bad either. So I got the kids some more granola bars. And then for our crock pot lasagna, I've got ground beef. I got some mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce. We already had marinara sauce, so I didn't have to get that. Ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, lasagna noodles, and I think that was it for the lasagna. I got the kids some more cosmic brownies. We've never run out of those. And then for the potato soup that we're doing, or potato casserole, I guess, in the crock pot, we've got cheddar cheese soup, evaporated milk, some kibasa, an onion, green onion, and hash browns so the shredded hash browns these are the only shredded hash browns i could find so hopefully they're good i've never had the great value come before but then i got lots of candy for halloween some of these actually are mine so <laughs> the take five reese's you guys know i love me some reese's and the take fives are actually my favorite so i take these and i put them up in a top cabinet where the kids can't reach those are all mine i'll probably steal these too and then we've got some other candy for Halloween. We actually have to make goodie bags this year. Um, so we'll put all the candy in these little goodie bags and then put them in a bowl at the end of our driveway for people to get for Halloween. They are doing trick-or-treating in our neighborhood. So um, got some minced garlic. I also needed this for, I think, the lasagna and the potato casserole. Some more Cocoa Krispies. That's my Nest Kaysen's favorite cereal. I got some OxyClean and some Dawn dish soap. Someone told me to use this combination for cleaning Kaysen's baseball pants. I usually just pressure wash them. Um, and I've also used one of the Naptha Fells, Naptha Fells bars. I usually use that too. And scrub, scrub, scrub. And that usually does a pretty good job. But someone told me to use this and just soak the pants overnight. And then use the pressure washer on them and then wash them. So I'm gonna try that this weekend. I think um, we have a we have a couple games this weekend, so I might try that. I'll let y'all know if that works or not. Some more Glad Force Flex Force Flex Plus trash bags, and I always get the ones that are scented. It just makes it a little bit more bearable <laughs> in the kitchen. Some Gatorade Zeros, a mixed pack, and then this isn't really groceries, but. I got Gracie June and Kaysen some new underwear. Kaysen loves the boxers, so I got that stuff. I got a red ribbon to go with my Halloween costume. Um, maybe I'll share at the end of this video a picture of us dressed up for Halloween so you can see what that'll be. I also got saw these in the craft section when I was there and just picked them up. I thought they would be fun to make some sort of ornaments or something with them. So, But that is it for our little grocery haul. Y'all let me know if you enjoy seeing these within the cleaning videos and meal plans and stuff like that and I'll continue to share. All right, so now that we have the groceries put up, I'm gonna go ahead and put our barbecue chicken sandwich stuff in the crock pot. The only thing we haven't put up yet is the um, candy because the kids are gonna help me put those in bags later today. But all I need for this is boneless, chinless, bo boneless, chinless, boneless, skinless chicken breast, Worcestershire sauce, 
Let me know if you know how to say that correctly. I think that's how you say it. Worcestershire sauce. Let me know how you say it. <laughs> um, Olive Garden Italian dressing and then some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I'm just going to dump this stuff in there and I'll actually link the recipe so you know exactly how much to use of everything. I'll link that in the description box. So as you can see, this meal is so stinking easy. It just cooks itself. And this is actually the first time we've done the Olive Garden dressing and it was so good. But we're just gonna put this on a bun later. You can actually put coleslaw on it if you want to. I'm not really a big fan of coleslaw on my barbecue sandwiches, but if you are, you could definitely do that. And then I'm gonna actually cook some fries with it later on in the air fryer right before we serve these up. All right, so the next thing on my list is to tidy up downstairs. So you're gonna see me tidy up the master bedroom, I'm gonna tidy up the living room, and then I'm gonna get started on some laundry. Now, I am just curious, have you guys started decorating for Christmas or do you actually leave your Christmas or your fall decor up throughout November? And the reason I ask is because later on in this video, you're gonna see me take down all of my fall and Halloween decor. I'm gonna actually store those and show you how I'm doing it. But we always go out of town for Thanksgiving, so we don't ever host it here or anything. So the last few years, we've started decorating for Christmas before Thanksgiving. So that way, when we get back, we can just enjoy it. So I'm just curious to know what you guys do. I know everybody's different, and I think it's so much fun that we all have our own little traditions. So here you're gonna see I'm starting a load of cleaning towels. These were actually ones that Chance used when he was cleaning out a car. So I'm gonna clean those, or uh, start it in the laundry. And then I also have some that are already dry in the dryer that I'm gonna pull out and all of that is going to be more of like our kitchen towels and a few beach towels, things like that. And I've told you guys before, but I like to watch TV while I fold laundry. I feel like it's almost like a reward for actually folding laundry is to watch TV while I'm doing it. So y'all let me know if you have seen any good shows lately. We now have YouTube TV. We turned off our Netflix and I'm really missing a lot of the shows on there. But if you have YouTube TV or something else that you watch, y'all let me know what your favorite shows are right now so I can put it on my list because the Bachelorette this season is not good. I don't know if you guys are liking it or not, but I am not. <laughs> With us, it's all, or nothing. all right, guys. So I just finished tidying up downstairs and I came up here to the playroom and I knew that it was a mess because we had some friends over the other night. And anytime we have friends over, it gets super messy up here. But I did not expect this and it is a complete disaster. I'm about to flip you around and show you, but I'm actually a little upset and I was about to do all of this on my own because it just goes much faster when I'm decluttering if I do it on my own. My kids are really good about getting rid of stuff. They don't have like attachment issues or anything like that with their toys, but I am so upset right now just looking at this playroom and the disaster that it is that I'm actually going to make them do this with me as soon as they get home. So they'll be home in about an hour, but I'm going to quickly show you what this playroom looks like. All right, the lighting in here is horrible because we have one light up there and then the windows open so it looks really bright over there. But y'all, they did this with their friends the other day. Now, 
This stuff is all my stuff that I put in here because I'm getting ready to start organizing some um, spaces in the house, which I will be filming, but these are all my organizing things that I need to go through. Um, and so I just sat them up there so they weren't downstairs in the office. But they, I brought a trash bag up here. But they have literally pulled out so much stuff, things that they never even play with, things that were already in a box that were ready to get donated. Like all this, all these little books right here, actually those little books were going to go in Gracie June's tub to save for when she has kids one day. Um, but the puzzles and stuff, they were in a box that was ready to be donated. Um, look at this. This is just ridiculous. I brought my, my Diet Dr. Pepper and my phone up, but... Y'all, I cannot believe they did this to this playroom. Now, the couch, since I've shown you guys the playroom the last time, the couch has gotten so much worse. Hold on, I'm going to close the blinds or the curtains. All right, I should close the curtains so you could see better, but look at this couch. Since the last time I showed you guys, it has gotten so much worse. So it's really 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 heavy. It's huge. It's gonna be really hard to get out of here But we are about to get this out of here soon um, We had this couch cover on it And I showed that in a video which I don't really like very much um, But I am gonna end up putting it back on there today just because it at least keeps the all of these things from coming off and getting all over the floor Which you'll be able to see they're everywhere these little pieces from the couch are everywhere in here like all over the floor those little spots those are all from the couch and they were not there the other day but it seems like every single time we have friends over they pull the couch cover off somehow it does slip very easily so that's not really their fault but then they can't help themselves they like peel the couch off and it gets all over the place but honestly I don't remember the last time that this playroom has looked like this. It is so bad. And we're actually getting ready to get rid of all of Kaysen's Nerf guns and Nerf bullets, all that stuff. It looks like they have just pulled everything out, you guys. All right, sorry, I'm a little bit in shock here. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this bad. But as soon as they get home, we are gonna start cleaning this mess and decluttering all of the things. All right, so the kids are home. They're helping me clean up this mess. And honestly, it didn't take us too long to pick up all of this stuff. I kind of put them in charge of different areas. So Gracie June was starting in this little area getting all the puzzle pieces and the blocks and stuff up. And then I told her to go around and find all of the toys that she wants to keep and start putting them in the baskets. Now, Kaysen's going through all of our Nerf guns and Nerf bullets and all that stuff. We actually gave all those away to a friend. And so he did a really good job helping get through all of that stuff. And then I am going around and throwing things away that need to be thrown away. So pieces that are broken or picking up trash off the floor, just different things that are going in my little trash bag. But we did get the playroom cleaned up pretty fast. So I'll show you the results in just a second. Alright, so we are done cleaning up in here and I'm actually going to come back up here tomorrow and vacuum because it needs it so bad, but we are running out of time because we have baseball practice this evening and we have to start getting ready, but this is a look at what it looks like with everything at least picked up. Um, all of my stuff is still right here, all of my organizing stuff that I ordered, which I'm going to go through tomorrow too. Um, and then we have some stuff that we're giving away. So that's all the Nerf bullets and guns. Those are the tubs that they were in. We have some stuffed animals to get rid of, some blocks, trash. 
these little books are all like books that they had when they were little so I'm gonna keep those but I'm gonna store them in the attic and then we have a lot of stuff that we're about to get rid of so I'll just kind of take you around we're gonna probably give this little Barbie house away because Gracie June when she has friends over they just pull it all the pieces off and like they end up all over the room as you saw earlier so I think I'm gonna get rid of that and get her something a little bit smaller that she can keep in her closet we're gonna get rid of this little princess piece that she has never played well she hasn't played with in years um, then we're gonna get rid of this I'm gonna probably list that on Facebook and then we definitely are going to get rid of this couch. I'm thinking I might want to get like a sectional in here, but we're going to get rid of this soon. We're going to get rid of those ta the table and chairs over there, the foosball table they never play with. Um, and then we are going to keep the air mats and the tumbling stuff up here because that's where we do it is up here. I also have a few things still to get rid of in there. I'm probably going to get rid of the Legos and a few more things over there but I want to redo this entire room like I want to make over this whole room and make it more like a family game room type thing because we have the Wii hooked up and then he also has his Nintendo Switch I figured we could bring our board games and maybe do some sort of like built-in looking thing over here on this wall or entertainment center or something and keep the games and everything where all the kids cannot get to them though and then I'm thinking like a sectional maybe and then over here we have our craft table so I was thinking of doing like an arts and crafts area over here maybe put some stools to the table and then organize some arts and crafts in that area maybe do some painting in here or some wallpaper definitely new furniture um, but just make it a look, make it look a lot better. It will definitely be a while before we do it because we have Christmas coming up and you guys know me when I start a project, I feel like it takes me forever to get it done, but I will keep you guys updated on it all. If you have any ideas for in here, send them to me, DM me on um, Instagram, send me some pictures, send me pictures on Pinterest. I want to see if you guys have any ideas for me of what we could do up here because Right now, I am at a loss. I mean, I'm just kind of coming up with ideas as I tell you guys, but I think it'll be fun to redo this room. And I will take you guys along for the whole process. All right, so once we got back home, I cooked up some chicken nuggets and some fries in the air fryer. It takes hardly any time at all. I just preheat it to 400 for like three minutes. And then I set it on 370 for eight minutes to actually cook up the nuggets and the fries. And we did sweet potato fries for us and regular fries for the kids. They don't really like barbecue chicken, so that is why they got chicken nuggets instead. But doing meals like this on nights that we have things going on makes it so much easier. All right, so it's actually a few days later. I said I was going to come up here the next day and vacuum, but I didn't make it back up there until a few days later, and it was actually the day after Halloween. So instead of ending my to-do list here with vacuuming upstairs, I decided to go ahead and start taking down all the Halloween and fall decor and showing you exactly how I'm going to store all of that stuff. So Halloween is over. We're about to take all these Halloween decorations down and we're going to store them in our Halloween tubs. But I wanted to share with you guys, I got some new containers in, some new Sterilite containers so that I can have clear ones because I really like the clear one that I had for Halloween that I got last year. So I tried to find the exact same one. These are a teeny tiny bit smaller. I couldn't find the exact size that I had last year. So I'm still gonna use that tub, but I also got these. I'm gonna be reorganizing our Halloween and fall decor. Gracie June has already decorated our box <laughs> with Halloween stickers, but I'm gonna be pulling these out and I'm gonna be taking down all of the Halloween decor. And I'm also gonna be doing some Christmas DIYs, going through our Christmas decor 
and getting ready to decorate. So here I have a few smaller tubs that we've used for years and we actually used to have a lot more of those. But last year I bought this bigger tub and can fit so much more in it. So what I'm doing is going through all of the Halloween and fall decor that I didn't use this year and I'm gonna get rid of that stuff and try to consolidate all of the Halloween stuff into one tub and then hopefully I can fit all my fall stuff into one, maybe two tubs. But this way I don't have a bazillion different tubs for every single season that I'm decorating for. And then in next week's video, I'm actually going to show you guys my attic. It is a complete disaster right now, but what I'm planning on doing is going through it and pulling out all of my tubs and reorganizing all of the stuff in there so that way when I get ready to decorate for a season, it's not so stressful. I'm not having to pull out a bazillion different things and it's just easier to find. I'm also going to be using my Cricut to label the outside of all my new bins. So how it says Halloween and fall on the outside of the old ones, I'm going to do the exact same thing on my new ones and probably even kind of color code them based on the season. But all that will be in next week's video, so make sure to come back next week. I'm also going to share some Christmas DIYs in that video and pull out all my Christmas decor and hopefully I can even start decorating for that video too. So next week's video will be jam packed. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit Hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Now, as I started taking this down, I was kind of sad because I think this is probably one of my favorite tablescapes that I've ever done. And so I just thought it was so pretty, but I am excited to decorate for Christmas too, though. So I have these two signs here that I made for fall and so what I'm thinking is I'm going to turn both of them around and actually paint the backs and make signs for Christmas because I love how those signs turned out and I love how it looks on this wall. So I'm going to look up um, like a Bible verse or pick our favorite Christmas Bible verse and probably do that on one of them and then I'm not really sure for the other but stay tuned for that. All right, so here is what we have. We have our Halloween tub 
and then I have my pumpkin tub basically and I really don't think I have much other fall decor except for stuff that's gonna go in the hutch in the kitchen or in the dining room and then also a few mugs that are going up in the top of the kitchen um, and then this was stuff that we didn't end up using this year so that was brand new this year so I might try to sell it I might just give it away to a friend if I can find somebody who wants it but I had a really great idea for that but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to so I'm definitely not keeping anything that we are not going to use so um, I'm gonna put some labels on these kind of like how I did this one I put Halloween I'm gonna take these and do big letters and put them on the front. So I'm gonna do Halloween and then I'm gonna do fall on this one. All right, now before I end the video, I wanted to share with you guys what the attic looks like right now so you can kind of get a glimpse at what I'm gonna be working on for next week's video. At the beginning of next week's video, I'm gonna be coming in here and pulling this stuff out and organizing it. But you can see I've got tons of florals right here in this little thing. It's not really where it should be it's kind of in the way I've got wreaths all over here we've got paint up here for the house we've got lots of tubs with things that we probably don't need in them Christmas decor now this is our walk-in attic we do have an attic up at the top of the house too but that has mainly like outdoor Christmas decor in there but you can see we've got just stuff everywhere so when we come in here to pull out our decor it's just a mess and it's hard to get to everything um, I know you can't see really well back there so in next week's video I'll make sure to bring some lights in here so you can see all the tubs that are back there um, but we have a lot of Christmas stuff that's just kind of laying out look at that we have Christmas wrapping paper and garland and all kinds of stuff so this is what I'll be working on for next week's video so make sure to come back and hang out with me next week as I go through all of this and organize it, I'll show you exactly what it ends up looking like and how I do it. And then I'm also gonna be going through my Christmas decor and showing you guys that stuff. And then hopefully I will be decorating and be done with all my DIYs for Christmas. All right guys, so I got all the things checked off my to-do list. I added on the takedown fall decor because I got that done too, checked everything off. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully it motivated you guys to get some things checked off of your own to-do list. Now I did promise you guys I would show you our Halloween costumes. We dressed up as some of the characters from Sandlot. That's one of Kaysen's favorite movies. And so I was Wendy Peppercorn, Kaysen was Smalls, and Chance was Squints, and then <laughs> Gracie June was just a random cat. She wanted to be a cat for Halloween. We tried to get her to be the dog, but she insisted on being the cat. So that was our Halloween costumes for this year. I hope you guys had an amazing week, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And welcome back to my channel my name is Amy Darley if you're new here welcome today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me I have tons and tons of cleaning to get done around my house so I hope it motivates you guys to get some things checked off of your to-do list today and I hope you enjoy the video so as you can see we are starting off with laundry and this video is actually going to be over three days worth of cleaning because I try to do a little bit each day I don't necessarily spend my entire day cleaning so I figured just to give you guys tons of motivation, I would put all three of the days in here because I got a ton done. All right, so now I'm gonna make up my bed, and this is one thing that I feel like I just cannot go without doing each morning. And I try to do it as early as possible. Now, on the days that I'm filming, it ends up being a little bit later because usually I get straight out of bed, go brush my teeth, get ready, and then I'll make my bed. 
but on the days that I film, I try to make sure that I get it on camera. So um, on this day, I actually went and worked out and everything before I got back home and started filming. So it's a little bit later in the morning than when I typically make my bed. But I'm telling you guys, when you make your bed in the mornings, it just makes your day get started off better and I just feel so much more productive. So now I'm going to fold this load of laundry that's been sitting beside my bed for a couple days now. <laughs> I'm finally going to get to it. And while I was folding, I actually had my phone on YouTube. It was over on the side. I was just kind of listening. I love to listen to some of my friends on their YouTube channels. So um, I just kind of listen and sometimes I'll pick up the phone and watch too while I'm cleaning and they're kind of cleaning along with me. So it feels like I'm cleaning with a friend, kind of like what you guys are doing if you're watching my video today while you're cleaning. Um, or some of you might just be watching and doing something else. So y'all let me know what you like to do when you are watching YouTube videos. Alright, so now that the laundry is all folded, I'm going to go ahead and put everything away. And honestly, this is my least favorite part of laundry. I don't mind folding. I feel like just because I get to do something enjoyable while I'm folding, like listening to the YouTube videos, or sometimes I'll watch TV, or listen to a podcast or a book on Audible. But my least favorite part is actually putting away the laundry. And I decided I don't usually show you guys me putting my kids laundry away because a lot of times they help me at night But since I have more laundry to do and I kind of needed the hamper I decided to go ahead and put the laundry away upstairs and Plus it motivated me to go ahead and get all of that done since I was actually filming it Now I'm moving to Gracie June's room. I'm going to put her clothes up and make her bed as well just because I'm in here. And just so you guys know, my kids are usually up in the morning between 6.15 and 6.30 on school days. And then we are out of the house by 7.10. So I don't usually make them um, make their beds in the mornings even though it really only takes two seconds with this bedding because you just zip it up, put your pillows on, and you're good. But I don't ever worry about it on school days just because we're rushing around and trying to hurry up and get out of the house. Um, but on the weekends, they do make their beds themselves, and then also during the summer, they're really good about making it first thing in the morning. So 
So now we're moving into the master bathroom and this is the bathroom that Chance and I use. So I'm gonna clean in here. I need to clean all the surfaces as well as the bathtub. I'm not gonna clean the shower today, but I am gonna clean the bathtub because Gracie June usually takes a bath in there um, several times a week. So I try to make sure I clean that a few times a week as well because you'll see it gets pretty dirty. Yes. Now, I also wanna mention, I am gonna be using tons of different Jaws cleaning products today. You guys know I love my Jaws cleaning products. If you've been here for a while, I use them all around my house, and especially in my bathroom, you're gonna see pretty much all the ones I use are Jaws cleaning products. So, here in the sink, I went ahead and sprayed the disinfectant spray, and I'm gonna let that sit. I also sprayed it on the handles and the faucet. And then on my glass, I'm using the Jaws glass cleaner. And then on top of my granite countertops, I'm using the Jaws granite cleaner. Now, if you've never heard of Jaws, it stands for Just Add Water System. And I've actually been using these cleaning products for over a year now. For each of the cleaning products, you're gonna get a reusable spray bottle. And then it also comes with refill pods for when you run out of your product. So I love this because one, it takes up a whole lot less space when you have your cleaning products. You only have one bottle and you don't have to worry about if you have, if you wanted to stock up on product, you're not having to hold like five different bottles of the same product. You just have refill pods. So you're going to see a little bit later. I'm going to share where I keep my refill pods and what it looks like, how I stock up on cleaning products, but it doesn't take up a ton of space. And I also love that I can use that same spray bottle over and over again, which reduces the amount of plastic waste in the environment. And I'm gonna show you a little bit later in the video exactly how I refill my water bottle when I'm running low on products, so that way you can see how easy it is. Now, as we go throughout the video, you're gonna see there's several other Jaws cleaning products that I'm gonna be using that I love. You can use these products on so many different surfaces. And another great thing is that they are actually non-toxic. All of them are non-toxic except for the disinfectant cleaner. So if you are looking for some environmentally safe, low cost um, products that also save you a little bit of space in your house, then definitely check out the Jaws cleaning products. They also gave me a coupon code for you guys to use. It is DARLY25 and it will get you 25% off your entire order. So definitely use that. I'll have a link to their website down in my description box as well as the coupon code in case you forget it. It's just DARLY25 but you can order your products individually, like if you just see one product that you wanna try out, or if you want the entire JAWS system, you can do that, and don't forget to use the coupon code, because 25% off is a big deal. And I wanna say a huge thank you to JAWS for partnering with me on today's video and giving me that coupon code for you guys to use. For a brand new start I know I got some trouble getting over you I think that I've played my part I need to get away somewhere far from you now, I don't show this spot very often in my videos, but this is in our toilet room and it's super hard to film in this little spot because it's so tiny. But I sprayed down this cabinet with disinfectant spray since it is in here with the toilet. I just wanted to make sure it got nice and clean and I usually do that, I just don't usually show it. Now this is a newer product that Jaws has come out with. It is the bathroom foaming cleaner and I love using this in my bathtub and in my shower because it works so well on soap scum. And here I'm just giving you a little close up of what the bathtub really looks like because from far away you could not even tell how dirty it was. But if you don't actually clean your bathtub right after you use it and you just let the water drain out, you can see that soap scum will actually build up right there on the inside of your bathtub. So that's what that is. And so usually a few times a week, I will come in here and just clean it out real quick.
Now the last thing I'm going to do in here is a quick vacuum. I do this almost daily just because my hair sheds pretty horribly and then also dog hair gets everywhere in our house anyways. So I'm going to vacuum in here and then later on in the video I'll actually come back and mop on a different day. Now when I finished cleaning in this bathroom, I did go clean the other two bathrooms in the house. I just didn't film it. Um, but I wanted to let y'all know because I usually clean all three bathrooms on the same day since I have all the same cleaning products out anyways. And after I was done cleaning, I had a few things to put up that I had gotten from the grocery store. So I have toilet paper here that I'm putting in all the bathrooms. And are you guys noticing that your grocery stores are out of toilet paper again? This is so crazy. Um, I had to get the Target brand toilet paper this time and usually I get Cottonelle. But... Hopefully that won't last long. I don't know. Um, and now I'm actually on the back porch putting up a bunch of my Diet Dr. Peppers, which I have been able to find lately. They have not been out of stock, so hallelujah for that. Now we're on day two of cleaning. I'm moving into the kitchen. We had our North Pole breakfast. Our elves came back, and so I need to clean up after all of that. We've also been doing some crafting. The kids, um, Gracie June and one of her friends, made a ton of little... Uh, gingerbread ornaments and they've been handing them out to friends around the neighborhood so we have all of that stuff to pick up and then just you know the normal mess around the kitchen so in case you don't know what the North Pole breakfast is it's something that we do every year when our elves return the kids get a little North Pole breakfast and I did not do a YouTube video on it this year but I did take a few pictures and a few short little video clips that I shared over on my Instagram account so I'll leave a link to that below in case you want to go check it out even if you don't have Instagram you can still click the link and go look at the pictures and see the short little video in case you want to just see what it was all about and get some ideas for things that you can do with your own kiddos So here I was going to put up our medicine bag that we always take with us on trips and I noticed that some of it had spilt out into the bag and some of it got sticky so I wanted to wipe these off really quick before I put them back in the cabinets.
I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars So I wanted to take a quick second. I know it is Christmas time and I know that a lot of people are really struggling right now with everything that's going on in the world. So I wanted to take a quick minute just to see if you guys are okay, see if you need any prayer requests. Definitely let me know if you have any prayer requests down in the comments. And of course, I would love it if you saw someone that you could reach out to and just um, in the comments and maybe just leave them a positive little word of encouragement because we could all use some positivity right now. So I just want to encourage you guys, let's be a community of women who can lift each other up and be there for each other instead of, you know, pick each other apart in the comments or, you know, argue or any of that kind of thing. I just really feel like a lot of us just need some um, words of affirmation right now. So Definitely let me know if you have any prayer requests and I also want to say a huge thank you to you guys for always being so supportive and kind over here on my channel. I love you guys and I feel like we have the best community ever. Stars. We can sleep under the stars or hang out in hotel bars driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Baby, while we're young. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. So here in this orange bottle, this is the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner, and you can actually use this all around your kitchen on tons of different appliances. It has a degreaser in it, so it works really, really well. My favorite place to use it is on my stainless steel appliances because I love how everything turns out so streak-free when I get done using it. If I had an option to be someone else, I would. Why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by, someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace.
I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Now here I'm pulling out the same granite cleaner that I had earlier and as you can see I was almost out so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to refill your bottle. So I'm just pouring out the leftover and I'm going to rinse out my bottle with water and then I'm going to actually be able to reuse this same bottle to make more granite cleaner. So I'm just going to pull out a refill pod and this is where I store them all. Look how much space this takes up. It is so minimal and I love it. So I'm just gonna grab my granite cleaner refill pod and then refill my water bottle to that fill line and then stick my pod inside and I have a fresh new batch of granite cleaner. This is so easy and I love how it just takes up hardly any space at all. So now that I have my granite cleaner refilled, I'm gonna use it to spray down my granite countertops. And honestly, if I'm in a really big hurry some days, I will just take that Jaws kitchen cleaner and wipe down the whole kitchen with it and not even pull out any other products. So definitely two products that are worth trying out. So now I have the kitchen clean and the last thing I'm going to do in here is a quick vacuum. Um, I actually planned on mopping and vacuuming the entire downstairs on this day, but the elves pulled out all of Gracie June's little ponies and had them strung across the floor. So poor planning on the elves part. I did not get to mop, but later in the video you'll get to see um, we're about to skip to the next day and I will get to mop the floors after all. It is the next day and I just need to tidy up in here. It is not bad because we cleaned up in here last night and I did not film that. I did tidy up the kitchen again for this from this morning from breakfast and here is where our elves are today. <laughs> um, they have made a little Christmas tree with the ornaments that Gracie June and her friend were giving out to people around the neighborhood and so they took some of them that they haven't delivered yet and put them on their own little Christmas tree, which I thought was cute. But anyways, all right, got some things to do to finish up our cleaning for this week. So as I was thinking about those little gingerbread man ornaments that the girls made for different kids around the neighborhood, I was just curious, do you guys do anything special with your families at Christmas to 
do just random acts of kindness for other people because I know that's become a big thing over the last several years. Um, my family's been doing it for several years now, and sometimes we over plan for those. Um, but the last, like last year, I think we ended up planning about 10 or 15 different random acts of kindness. Some were super small and were easy to do. Some took a lot of planning and baking or going and getting materials and things like that to do them. But I was just curious if you guys have any fun random acts of kindness that you guys like to do with your families at Christmas time. Okay, so you'll notice I have a different vacuum out now because this is my corded vacuum. It's my Shark Uplight. I love this thing. If you are looking for a vacuum for Christmas, I highly recommend it. And I will have a link to both of my vacuums down in the description box. But I love this one. It is my all-time favorite vacuum ever. I talk about it all the time because I love it so, so much. It picks up so much dirt, dust, dog hair, human hair all kinds of things and I love the fact that on the bottom it all the hair doesn't get all tangled up it has some sort of technology in it I don't really understand it but I'm sure that you could look up a YouTube video on how this thing works but no hair ever gets wrapped around the bottom so that's another great thing in itself um, but you'll see when I vacuum around on my rugs I always like to use this one because it is so powerful and gets up so much and it's it's kind of disgusting, but also satisfying because I know that it works really, really well. So anyways, definitely recommend this vacuum if you're looking for a powerful vacuum that works good on hardwood and on carpet. I can't tell what's wrong or right. Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now, need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. Now that I have the vacuuming done downstairs, I'm gonna go ahead and mop down here. I'm just using my Oceder Spin Mop. This is another um, cleaning product that I highly recommend. So if you're looking for a mop, it's super inexpensive. It's about $30, I think. And you can get tons of different refill um, mop heads for your actual mop. So I definitely recommend that. I think we have like four or five different mop heads that I use and I love it. I'm just using some regular old hot water and pine saw to clean the floors.
Now, after I've mopped the entire downstairs, this is when I will actually go and mop the bathrooms. So I like to do the bathrooms last because I just don't like the idea of using that mop head to mop the bathrooms and then go mop somewhere else, which I could totally change out the mop head and, and it wouldn't be a big deal. But this is just something that ends up working out really well for me is I will mop the entire downstairs and then the last thing I'll do is go mop the bathrooms. <laughs> I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way so I'm gonna let myself enjoy the and now that the bathrooms are done I decided to go ahead and vacuum upstairs as well because it's been a few weeks since I've actually vacuumed up here so it desperately needed it this is in the hallway upstairs and then I'm gonna move into Gracie June and Kaysen's rooms to finish up the vacuuming. I didn't vacuum in the playroom because I still have a ton of our bins and things in there from where I'm trying to organize our um, attic. I've been doing that for like the last month and I promise I will get it done eventually. There's gonna be a whole video that will you know, be dedicated to organizing that attic. So. Hopefully I can get all of that done soon. I'm still going through stuff and it's been just taking me a while. So thank you for being patient with me on that video. It is my time. Cause I know what it's like. 
like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. All right, so now I have the entire house clean. It feels so good. So I'm gonna actually fold this last little load of laundry that I have here. I do have more in the washing machine, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're just gonna talk about the fact that I am almost done for with my cleaning for today. <laughs> All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully it motivated you guys to get some things checked off of your to-do list today, whether you have a huge, long cleaning to-do list or you're cleaning just a little bit at a time like I do. I hope that it motivated you. So let me know what's on your to-do list today, what you're getting done. And if you want to check out JAWS, make sure to check that link in my description box so you can get that 25% off coupon code DARLY25 for your order that saves you a ton of money and I know that you guys are going to love those products too so I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you guys in the next video bye Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Amy Darley and in today's video, I have lots and lots of cleaning to do. So I'm starting here in the kitchen because it was a huge mess. We've got lots of crafts. These are some little puppets that the kids and chants were creating the other day. So I have lots to clean up in here and then I'm gonna work my way around the house cleaning other a few other areas. I also have a short little grocery haul to share with you guys. I went and picked up groceries from Walmart on this day and I'll share with you what we're eating for dinners this week too, so our weekly meal plan. I know a lot of you tell me that you love seeing the grocery hauls and the meal plans because it gives you ideas, so I thought it would be fun. Y'all let me know in the comments what is your weekly meal plan for this week so that way we can all get ideas from each other. Also, later in the video, I'm gonna be sharing a little basket that I made for our delivery drivers, and then I also got an organizer for all of my gift wrapping stuff for Christmas, so I'm gonna put that together and show you guys how I organize all of that stuff. So, tons and tons of things in this video. So, if you are planning to clean along with me today, then get that to-do list ready. Let's go ahead and get started. And if you are not cleaning, I would love to know what you're doing while you're watching. And hopefully this video will motivate you guys to get some things checked off of your to-do list after you get done watching. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different So I've got most of my dishes loaded into the dishwasher and then these are the ones that I needed to wash by hand. 
And I've shown this before, but I'm using Barkeeper's Friend here on my kitchen utensils. They get little tarnished looking spots. And so I'm just using Barkeeper's Friend and one of those copper scrubbers and it comes right off. You can also use this on your pots and pans and it works really well too. And then after I'm done washing the rest of these dishes, I'm actually gonna use it in my sink because it works really well at keeping your sink white. If you have a white sink, it also works good on stainless steel too. About your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Like I said, the Barkeeper's Friend does a really good job at cleaning the sink, but it honestly doesn't make it smell a whole lot better. So I decided to go over the sink again and clean it with this Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser. It's the lemon scent and it smells so good. It also does a really good job at keeping your sink white. We use it quite a bit. We use it pretty much every night when we clean our sinks out and I highly recommend this product. Nice and humble. So I definitely did things a little backwards today than my normal routine, how I usually do things. Usually I will actually go around and pick up all the mess first and then I'll get to the dishes. But I think for some reason with all those dishes being in the sink, I just had to put them up. I don't know. It was driving me nuts. So definitely did things backwards today, but that's okay. So now I'm getting to the countertops. I'm just using the um, Caldrea countertop spray here on the granite countertops and then on my wood countertops I'm going to be using the method wood for good cleaner. So now I'm using my e-cloth to just wipe down our stainless steel appliances. I love this for um, this kind of thing. I also use my Jaws kitchen cleaner a lot on these appliances, but I love the fact that these e-cloths, you just use them with hot water and they clean and disinfect at the same time. 
Um, I use these a ton when I'm just trying to get a quick cleaning done. And also my kids use these a lot when they're just wiping down tables or countertops for me. So that way they don't even have to worry about what cleaner to get out. They just get out the e-cloth and I just tell them to go wipe down things. And if you're interested in checking out e-cloths, they do sell them on Amazon. So I'll leave a link in the description box, but I always get mine off the Grove Collaborative website. They have a couple different types of e-cloths on there too. So it's a little bit later. I went and picked up groceries. I'm going to show you guys my quick little grocery haul and I'm also going to show you what we're having for dinner this week because a lot of you say that you love seeing ideas of what we do for dinner or grocery hauls, that kind of thing. I didn't have a ton to pick up, but I'm going to share with you some of the stuff that I got. All right, so here is our meal plan for this week and it's actually Monday. So we had this tortellini bake yesterday. I'll link that recipe. It was so good. And so we're actually having leftovers tonight, which is great because Gracie June has tumbling tonight and then Kaysen has basketball. So we have a pretty busy, busy evening. So we're just gonna do leftovers. Tomorrow we're doing tacos. Um, Wednesday we're gonna do chicken with some rice and sweet potatoes super easy and then Thursday we're gonna do paninis and then I found this pasta salad recipe that looks so good so I'll link that recipe below too and then Friday I'm actually doing a progressive party with some of the other women in my neighborhood and so I am doing chili at my house and so I got a lot of stuff for the chili um, and then the kids are gonna eat pizza and chance obviously so the kids and chance will eat pizza while I do my little progressive party Then Saturday, I think we're gonna take the kids downtown in Savannah and we're gonna go out to eat so That's our little meal plan for this week So here are all the groceries that I got. I did Walmart pickup. I usually do Walmart pickup. It's my favorite um but I didn't have to get a ton this week because when I went shopping last week, we got a lot of snack foods and things like that. And majority of the things that we're cooking this week, we already had most of the ingredients for. So that was nice. All right, starting over here with the not so healthy stuff that you probably see in a lot of my grocery hauls. I get some of these Lunchables. There are only four. So four for the whole week for two kids. Um, Cosmic Brownies because this is my kid's dessert of choice. They also like some of the other little Debbies and stuff, but usually I just make sure we're stocked up on Cosmic Brownies. All right, and then moving back here, this is the coffee that we always get, great value donut shop flavor. Then I have some triple zero Greek yogurts. I love these as a good snack. This one has the mixed berry and the strawberry all in this one pack. Um, and then this stuff is all that I'm using to make the little pasta salad. Um, I think that there are a few more ingredients, but we already had them. I'm using the Olive Garden Italian dressing, purple onion, cucumber, then some salami. I'll probably cut this up a little bit smaller. 
um, some tomatoes, and then I'm just gonna cut up some of these mozzarella string cheeses and throw those in there. I'll probably do them pretty small though. And then for the paninis, we were gonna do turkey and avocado and I think maybe some provolone or something. We already had the turkey and provolone, so I'm gonna do that one night. And then this is for tacos for tomorrow night. That's ground beef in there. And then shredded lettuce. We already had all of our shells and tortillas, everything that we need for that. And then Wednesday, we're doing sweet potatoes, rice, and chicken. We already have the rice and chicken. Um, I got a few breakfast foods. We go through bacon like crazy and eggs. And then these are for Friday. I'm going to do cinnamon rolls for the kids. And then one of the breakfast items that I like to eat a lot are these little homemade egg McMuffins. So I've got some Canadian bacon, some English muffins. These are the 100 cal calorie multigrain ones. And then I put on some like laughing cow cheese wedges and usually some bolt house ranch or something like that. And I already have the cheese in the ranch dressing. So good to go there. Um, and then all of this stuff is for the chili. I've got some more ground beef in here, but I'm going to go stick that in the freezer. And then we've got tons of stuff for the chili. So we've got some diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, kidney beans, tomato paste. I got some of these roasted bell peppers and then some onion. And then I got, this is for Kaysen's little class party. We did some candy canes for all the kids that's between two classes and then I picked up this Dawn Platinum Power Wash I saw Joanna Thornton and my friend Jamie from Jamie's Journey both use this stuff and so I wanted to try it out for myself and then this morning when I was actually cleaning the kitchen I noticed that our microwave is super dirty um, we had cooked some bacon in there and it smells like straight bacon so I want to use this and see if it works good so I'm gonna use that in here in just a little bit but that is my little grocery haul I'm gonna go put this stuff up now Now, really quickly as you can see I did some reorganizing in my pantry and in my cabinets so if you missed that video I'll link it below but I did a whole pantry makeover video last week and I love the way it turned out and it's actually been super easy to keep up with and the kids love it too no So now I am going to clean out the inside of my microwave. It doesn't look too, too bad, but y'all, it stunk really bad. And there was actually a lot of buildup on the top and in the corners. So I'm going to use that product that I showed you guys earlier, the Dawn Power Wash, and clean out this microwave. And it actually works really, really good and smells good too. So I definitely recommend this product. I know you want it. So I'm actually going to let that sit in there for just a few minutes while I wash down the microwave plate with the same soap and honestly anytime I wash this down or wash the microwave plate I get so nervous because I've broken several of these before and I just feel like they break so easy. Y'all let me know have you ever broken a microwave plate before?
right, so now I'm gonna fold this load of laundry and watch the challenge on MTV. Y'all let me know if you watch that show too. Me and a sweet follower, um, her name is Carrie, we always talk about the challenge because we love it so much. And honestly, I don't think I watched the last couple of seasons just because we had canceled um, whatever, we were watching it on DirecTV, we canceled our DirecTV and then I couldn't find where to watch it, but now that we have YouTube TV, you can actually watch it. Um, you just connect it to your MTV app on Roku. So anyways, I've been able to start this season. I probably should go ahead and watch the last couple seasons too since I missed those, but y'all let me know if you watch the challenge. I know it's probably not the best show and definitely a mindless show to watch, but I love the whole competition part of it. Also, while I'm doing laundry, I was curious to know if you guys would like to see an updated laundry routine sometime in the new year. I was thinking about sharing some of my routines. I know I shared that before that I was trying to put some videos together for the new year um, and just maybe get us all started off on the right foot. But I've been doing my laundry a little bit different lately. I feel like I've been able to manage it a little bit more. I love the routine for myself. Now I know it's not gonna work for everybody. But if you would like to see that routine, let me know. And of course, I'm not perfect. Things get piled up sometimes and I just end up with a ton of laundry, but I feel like we all do that. So anyways, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that routine or any other routines that you want to see in the new year. And the last thing I'm doing on this day, you'll see I actually show you guys the next day. But the last thing I'm doing here is a quick vacuum. I like this vacuum for just quickly vacuuming um, spaces, but it is definitely not as powerful as my shark vacuum, which is so much better, especially for my carpets, but it still gets up a lot. This is where Cooper hangs out. So lots of dog hair in here. All right, friends, so it is the next day. I just got back home. Um, I went and got some Chick-fil-A and I placed a Target pickup order. So I'm actually about to put together a basket for our delivery drivers. We do this every year just to say thank you. I know Christmas season is crazy busy. We order a lot of stuff online. So I wanted to make a little basket just with some snacks and some items just to say thank you for all that they do. I know that it's crazy right now and they work really, really hard. So I'm about to put that basket together. I'll show that to you guys. Also, you, you might think I'm crazy because I'm like, all bundled up and it's the high today is 55 but the high yesterday was 77 so I'm like all cuddled up because I feel like it's freezing in our house and actually I'm going to show you my outfit really quick why am I out of breath you guys um, I'm gonna flip you around and show you my outfit really quick all right so this is what I am wearing today like I said I'm all bundled up because I'm cold but I made this shirt the other day. It just says, oh snap. I actually made it for our Christmas cards that we were doing. And I made Gracie June a matching one, except her shirt is white. And she's actually wearing the shirt today too because they had pajama day at school. Um, and I made a cute little, it's like a 15, 30 second video that I did for on Instagram, just showing you how I made it with my Cricut. So I'll link that little video below. Um, this is a little co cozy cardigan I got actually a couple years ago. My jogger pants that I got from Target. These are so stinking soft. I will link these below too. And then my Amazon slippers. But anyways, I'm about to put together this little gift basket and I thought I would share what I have on just because this was such a fun little project and you guys are always saying you love seeing my Cricut projects. But yeah, so enough talk. Let's go get to work. Now, before I put together this little basket of goodies for our delivery drivers, I decided to go ahead and vacuum this area rug really quick. And honestly, I did it because I thought I was gonna be on the ground wrapping gifts as well, but I didn't get to that today. So it's okay. I needed to vacuum this area anyways. Wanted to please my friends, but it felt like the end of myself. So like I said, I got all these little items from Target and then this little basket here is one of those M Design baskets that I got in a three pack off of Amazon. I'll link those below. And I'm just putting in some waters, some chips, I've got some pretzels, granola bars, and then some little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. 
and I love the way that these turned out. I also ended up putting a little sign on the front and I'll link that sign down in the description box. It was a free sign that I found on Pinterest, so I'll leave that link for you guys in case you wanna download it and print it too. So here you can see I just stuck it on a table on our front porch and it was so funny because literally like 10 minutes after I put this out we had a delivery driver come up from Amazon and he took a couple snacks and I was so excited. Alright, so I'm just going to take the rest of these water bottles and put them in here in our outdoor fridge and then the extra ones I'm just going to go store them in the garage for right now. So here is what the organizer looks like all put together. This is the one that I got off of Amazon. I'll link it below and obviously you can see you can put lots of ornaments and holiday wrapping stuff. You could even put um, decor in there if you wanted to. I don't plan on putting decor in there, but after Christmas is over, I do plan on storing all of our ornaments in here instead of the boxes that we usually do. But I love it. I'm just following the directions on putting this thing together. You can also move the organizer dividers in here. You can move them around a little bit depending on what you're planning in here. And I got a little hot, so I took off my sweater. Um, but I love that it's kind of customizable depending on what you're storing. So definitely recommend this thing. It's super sturdy and has a lot of space for a lot of different things. guys I love this thing so I'm gonna show you what I did in here really quick I have all of our ribbon here I have our gift tags here I think I have more of these I just have to go find them um, and then I have some of the little bags here that are more of like cloth bags this is what I'm using to wrap our gifts this year I do have some other wrapping paper but it's gonna be too tall to sit in this so I definitely won't be able to like 
put it in one of these holes, but I'm thinking it might lay across this way, not sure. Um, and here I have some more gift bags. These are like smaller and medium sized bags. In this section, I have some gift boxes and then our larger gift bags. And then these are a few boxes that we're gonna use for some neighbor's treats. And then in this middle section, this is where all of our ornaments will go, which are obviously on the tree, so I'm not gonna worry about putting that together yet. That'll happen when we start taking things down. And then over here on the side, there are little zip pockets, so you can put other things on these sides. So. I love it. I think it's gonna help me keep my stuff organized and not have Christmas stuff in like a bazillion different bins. All right, so that is all the cleaning that I'm gonna do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully it gave you some motivation to get some cleaning done around your house. If you are new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if you still need more motivation, I have some videos here on the screen for you to check out. One of them is the pantry organization video I did last week. So definitely go check that one out. I love the transformation. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and today's video is going to be a pantry clean and organize with me and I'm going to be taking you through the entire process of cleaning out my messy pantry and then also a few other cabinets in our kitchen that we use for pantry like items. And today's video is also sponsored by Cricut and I'm going to be sharing my Cricut Joy and how I use it to make labels for some of my new bins that I got. Now I have done some pantry organization videos in the past and they were mostly used with Dollar Tree products. So if you're looking for a way to do it on a budget, then definitely go check out those videos. I'll link them below. But today I'm gonna be using some new bins that I got off of Amazon and they are a little pricier than the Dollar Tree ones, but they are also more sturdy and durable. So as you can see, my pantry is kind of small, so we actually use several different cabinets here in the kitchen for the rest of our pantry-like items, and it's just become a big mess, and we can't get to a lot of the stuff that we use often, so I'm gonna be rearranging and then also reorganizing a lot of this stuff. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is take everything out of the pantry and I'm gonna just start here first, reorganize this whole pantry, and then I will actually go to the other cabinets. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because when I think about a huge project, I get overwhelmed. So if I can just focus on one space at a time, then I usually get through it quicker. And then when I see the results, I'm motivated to keep going and get on with the next project or the next space. Now throughout the video, you're gonna see I got lots of new bins off of Amazon and all of them were the M Design brand. I actually got some a while back when I was reorganizing my kitchen and I love their products, so that's what I went with. And I will actually link all of the products that I'm using in today's video. I have some that I'm just reusing that I've already had and then I have a lot of bins that I purchased to reorganize the pantry spaces.
now that all my pantry items are organized into bins, I'm actually pulling out my Cricut Joy so I can make some labels for those bins. And you guys, if you have never heard of the Cricut Joy or never have used one, this little thing is amazing. So as you can see, the Cricut Joy is really small, so I was actually able to just bring it in the kitchen and work straight from there. And then in that little basket, I also got a new container um, for all of my Cricut Joy accessories. So everything in this little container goes with my Cricut Joy. And so what I'm gonna do is actually use this to make the labels that are gonna be, I'm just doing the draw and write labels for my pantry bins. And I'm gonna do everything from my cell phone. If you have an iPhone, there is an app for the Cricut Joy and you can literally just go straight onto the app and these are labels that are already made you can choose from. So I'm just looking at the different ones and I wanted one that was printable and then it would cut around the label so I could just use it like a sticker so it was super simple. So I picked this label and then now I'm just putting in what I want my labels to say. Now if you are not an iPhone user, they don't have an app for the other phones yet but you can still do all of this straight from your computer with the Cricut Joy 2. All right, so once you have all your labels that you want, you're just going to go through and it's gonna give you all the instructions. You can actually change the font if you want to. And so there it's giving me like a little preview of what it's gonna look like. And then they have a bunch of fonts that you can go through and just kind of change those up if you want. I don't want to waste my time, so baby we should start living now. Now that I have my labels exactly how I want them, I am ready to print and cut. So it asks me what material I'm using and I'm using the Smart Label Writable Vinyl. So I'm going to select that. And then it's gonna actually tell me what I need to do as I go through the whole cutting process. So the first thing I do is load in my vinyl and then it's also asking me to put in the pen because it's going to actually draw the labels first and then once it's done drawing all the labels, it tells me to stop, take out the pen, and load in the cutting tool next so that way it can cut around my labels. Now for this project, I went with the quick labels that were already made in the app so that way I didn't have to do a whole lot of designing myself and it just made the project super quick and easy. But if you were looking to make your own custom designs and things like that, you can still do that in the Cricut design space and then use the Cricut Joy to do all your cutting and printing and all of that. So if you are looking to do a bunch of organization projects around your house or even some little DIYs, maybe some greeting cards, things like that, then I highly, highly recommend the Cricut Joy. It would be an awesome Christmas gift if you're looking for something like this. And then of course, I also have the Cricut Maker. If you've seen some of my previous videos, then you probably see me do a ton of DIYs with that as well. So I love both of these Cricut machines. They're amazing and I will actually leave a link to both of those machines down in the description box in case you wanna check those out. Now that my labels are done printing, I just switched out the pen for the cutting tool and it's just cutting around the labels so I can literally just peel this off like a sticker and stick it straight on my containers. And here I was just rubbing my finger across so you could see that the ink does not smear at all. It is the easiest project I have ever done with one of these machines, it's so cool. Now I'm gonna start putting everything back into the pantry since it's all organized into bins and the cereal containers I've actually had for a while. I love them. They are from Walmart, I think, and also the little cookie container is from Walmart too. I'll link those below. Now for this pantry, I decided to put all of the snack type items as well as anything that the kids might be grabbing um, in here and that's why I wanted to use labels too is because I'm hoping that with these labels It'll keep it organized much longer <laughs> And 
And here I have this little rolling cart, which I have found to be the best for our canned goods. We don't have a ton of canned goods, so this actually works really well for us because we didn't have a lot of space in our other cabinets to put those. And then these two baskets here on the floor are more for overflow items. So I have one basket that's full of like condiments and also have cereal in that one. And then the other one has snacks that are already in bins up top. But once I start running low on those, I can just reach from those overflow bins and then refill those baskets. And here you can see how the labels look on the bins. I love how simple it looks. It was so quick and easy to do. And I just love the way it turned out. Stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing all right, now we're moving on to the other two cabinets and you're gonna see I end up flip-flopping a lot of the stuff in these cabinets just to make it work a little bit better for us. So here I have this little white container. I think I either got it from Walmart or Amazon. I'll find a link, but I love it for all the seasoning packets that we have. And here you can see we have so many different seasonings that we use. And I just didn't like it over here because it was really hard to pull these baskets out. You can see how deep these cabinets are. And so what I'm gonna do is go through, reorganize them, and I'm actually gonna put them above where the stove is in these new bins that I got from M Design. And I feel like it works so much better. All right, so I got two of these little turntables from Walmart. They were super inexpensive. And then a few different M Design containers, these with the handles, and then these ones that also stack. So you can get several of these and they are stackable. And here I'm just kind of using the containers, making sure that they fit in these cabinets and rearranging them to see how I want to put them before I start putting anything inside of them. Now here on these turntables, I'm just putting our cooking sprays and oils and then also some bigger seasonings that we use pretty often when we're cooking. And I just love the way that this turned out. I feel like it's gonna be so much more convenient when we're reaching up into the cabinet to find things versus before where we just had everything just shoved in there and we had to pull things out to find others. And I don't know, I just think it works so good. Now I'm just going through all of my seasonings and organizing them into these bins with the handles. This is so much easier to pull out than the other ones that I had before. And as you can see here, I have a ton of spice jars that I had organized and put labels on and all of that for one of my previous pantry organization videos. But honestly, I hate refilling these things. So I decided I'm not gonna get more of those. I'm not gonna you know, worry about how pretty the jars are and everything. I'm just gonna get the spices from the grocery store and stick them in these bins and I'm gonna be okay with that. Looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. Let me escape from my hideaway. I give up all of my little addiction, but I'm still stuck with some tough things. Now I'm up 
Now, when I was organizing my spices, I noticed that I had double or triple of some of them. So what I'm doing is creating an overflow basket that's just for my spices, and I'm writing down all the ones that I have extra of, so that way when I run out of one, I can just look at my list and see if it's in our overflow bin. So before I pulled everything out, these types of bins were actually in the cabinet that you just saw me organizing, but because I had to move up one of those shelves, I can't fit these in there anymore. And so I'm just going to stick the, these in this other cabinet because it's a little bit deeper. I don't use these items nearly as much as the other ones, so it's really not going to be a big deal when I have to pull one item out to get to the others. I also have on this top shelf a little organizer where I keep all my tin foil and cling wrap, things like that, and so it makes it easy for me to get to that. Now here in the rest of these containers, I've put items that mostly I cook with. Um, the one container on the middle shelf on the left it has peanut butter and honey and things like that, so the kids could still pull that out if they needed to get to it. But the rest of the stuff is mostly things that only I pull out or Chance will pull out to cook with. And here on this next shelf, I'm putting our stash of barbecue sauce that Chance got from a friend in the back because it's gonna be like an overflow for that. And then I have these baskets that I'm gonna use for fruits and vegetables, which we need to go grocery shopping so we don't have any to put in there yet. All right, so now all of my pantry stuff is organized and there on that top shelf I actually ended up leaving, we have our seasonal mugs up there because it's really hard for me to reach. I have to pull a chair or stool out to even get up there so I figured that was a good spot for that stuff and the rest of it I'm just it's so much more convenient to get to I love it I love how it turned out it feels so good to have this project done and I will actually snap some pictures and post them on Instagram because I know sometimes it's hard to see the whole overview of a project like this on a video so if you want to go check out those pictures make sure to go check out my Instagram account and then of course like I said I will link everything that I use to organize these cabinets down in the description box also don't forget to go check out the Cricut Joy linked in my description box if you're looking to do some organization projects it is the easiest machine to use ever I know you guys are gonna love it I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and seeing how I organized my pantry. I hope it maybe gave you some ideas or some inspiration to get some things checked off of your to-do list or get some projects done that you've been wanting to get done as well. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that way you don't miss any future videos. And if you guys have any spaces that you want to see organized or you need some inspiration for, let me know those spaces down in the comments and I will try to do some videos on that in the new year. I hope you have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here for the first time. My name is Amy Darley and today's video is going to be a clean with me. Now I had several things on my to-do list for cleaning today but I also wanted to get some Christmas presents wrapped and then I was actually making a chili recipe which turned out amazing. I've never used this recipe before but I highly recommend it. It was so stinking good. So I'm gonna leave the recipe down in the description box, but I'm also gonna share with you that recipe at the end of the video. 
Now, the reason I was cooking the chili was because we were actually doing a little progressive porch party in our neighborhood. We had three different houses, and at my house, we were doing a chili bar. So I was doing a little bit of cleaning outside as well. You're gonna see me decorate our back porch. I didn't go overboard, but I did do a few little things, and I'll share with you all of that in this video as well. So as you can see, I started here in my bedroom by making my bed, and that's something that I like to do every single morning. I just feel like once I have my bed made, it motivates me to keep checking things off of my to-do list, and that's another thing that motivates me is just seeing those things get checked off of my to-do list as well. So go ahead, make your to-do list, get your bed made, mark it off, and then get started on the rest of your stuff. And if you have a to-do list written down already, y'all let me know what's on it and then come back here and let me know when you've completed it too. Or maybe just let me know what all you got done because you guys, there's tons of days I don't get everything checked off my to-do list. Actually, there's probably more days that I don't get everything checked off than I actually do. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So I'm almost done dusting And look at Cooper, you guys This is my chocolate lab He is basically, he's almost completely blind And then he's also going deaf But he has the best sense of smell <laughs> But anytime I'm cleaning, he just lays there. He doesn't care. It doesn't bother him at all. I can literally vacuum around him too, and it doesn't bother him. And I'm interested to know, do you guys have pets? If you do, what kind? What are their names? And um, I know a lot of dogs actually like chase the vacuum. What do your pets do when you are cleaning around them? Now, even though Cooper is not bothered at all by our vacuum, I went ahead and let him go outside right now just because it's easier for me to vacuum when he's not there because that way I don't have to make him get up. I just go ahead and let him outside and then that way I can also vacuum his little bed over in the corner. You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So now I am done cleaning my bedroom and that's the first thing on my checklist I get to check off. And playing, and waiting around. It's now we're moving into the kitchen and I'm gonna do a really, really fast clean in here. As you can see, we've got lots of dishes. We also have this little mess from our elves. And if you haven't seen this little trick, you take Skittles and put them in a circle around the outside of the plate and then pour hot water and all the colors just kind of come together. It's really neat, but after it's been sitting for a while, this is what it looks like. I don't know if 
Alright, so this is a little tip. If you are in a hurry to clean, then I suggest getting you some e-cloths. And I love these things. I'm just using hot water and I'm actually going around my kitchen and wiping down all the surfaces with this e-cloth. And I love it because one, I'm not having to pull out any products so I'm able to get cleaning done a lot quicker. And then two, it actually is cleaning and disinfecting all the surfaces. So if you haven't tried these e-cloths, then I always get mine off of Grove Collaborative, but they do have them on Amazon too. They have a bunch of different types, so definitely check those out. I'll leave a link in the description box. And you're no longer all right so now since I still have my vacuum out I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick vacuum around the rest of the downstairs and usually when I vacuum the entire downstairs I mop as well but since I was a little bit on a time crunch this day I had a lot to do I decided to just not worry about mopping the floors and planning on doing that the next day And as you can see, this vacuum is amazing. All I did was this one little area and that's how much dog hair and dust and dirt and everything that I got up. And y'all just ignore those boxes over there in the dining room. <laughs> we have lots and lots of Amazon packages and Target packages and um, I'm not gonna get to those today. Actually, I do get to some of them because I do wrap some gifts, but the rest of them probably aren't going anywhere at the end of this video.
So now that that's done, I was actually running out of time and my kids were gonna be home from school. I think I had about an hour. And so I wanted to go ahead and get some gifts wrapped before they got home because this was their last day of school before Christmas break. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm starting on wrapping some gifts and I actually got this organizer. I shared it with you guys in my last video, but it's got all my gift wrap and stuff like that for Christmas. And I absolutely love this organizer. Now after Christmas, I'm also gonna be using the organizer to um, store all of our ornaments and a few more Christmas items and things like that in this, but I'll share that stuff with you guys once we start taking down Christmas. But this is all the stuff we're gonna be using to wrap our gifts. So I know I'm posting this video like right, right, right before Christmas. So you're probably not gonna really be able to use any of these tips, but I saw on Instagram where a couple different accounts and things that I've been pinning on Pinterest, all the wrapping, they've been using solid colors and then using yarn instead of ribbon. So I decided to do that and I think it turned out really, really cute. I also got my gift tags and things like that from Target and then the wrapping paper. This red one I actually got from Hobby Lobby and then the brown one I got off of Amazon. So here you can see this is what the first one turned out like and I love the way that the yarn looks and I think next year I'm going to probably get a bunch of different colors and I'm going to try to get my gift wrapping done a lot sooner but I'll show you what they all look like under the tree once I'm done wrapping. So here's what that next one looks like and I did end up getting a good bit of presents wrapped I didn't get everything done at this point but I got all the ones that needed to be wrapped before the kids got home and I just love the way that all of these colors look together under the tree and I really really like the yarn and I feel like it's a little bit cheaper than actually the ribbon is all right, so now really quickly, I'm gonna share with you this chili recipe. I'm just gonna kinda show you how I make it, but I will leave the actual recipe down in the description box. So here I am starting by caramelizing some onions, and then I'm gonna throw in my ground beef and go ahead and get all of that cooked up. 
Now, a few weeks ago, I actually did a whole video on reorganizing my pantry and a few other cabinets in my kitchen, and this is how the spices turned out. I absolutely love the little bins that they're in. It is working so good for us. But these are all of the spices that you're gonna need. And then I forgot to show cayenne pepper in that little clip. But we also have some other ingredients here that you're gonna need. And like I said, I'll have the recipe so you know exactly how much to use. And I love this little can opener here. You just push the button and it cuts the can for you while you do something else. And then you push the button when it's done and you're ready to go. So now I'm just dumping all of the rest of my ingredients. No matter where I lay my head, I'm not the town or not the bed. And no matter what I do, I'm still gonna be dreaming. Now once I had everything in there, we just stirred it and then actually Chance kept an eye on it for me and he would just stir it every once in a while and we let it simmer for a few hours and it was seriously the best chili that we've ever made. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do really quick is just clean out our bathroom. I know we're not gonna be inside, but I just want it to be clean in case any of our guests end up having to use the restroom and come inside for that. And speaking of the restroom, a couple people did end up having to come in and it was so funny because Gracie June had this little light up ice cube that she'd gotten while we were at Disney in one of her little drinks at dinner and brought it home. Well, it was sitting on the counter when I was cleaning and I just threw it in the trash can. And so one of the ladies, when she came out of the bathroom, she was like, man, you're really festive. There's something blinking in your trash can. Did you put Christmas lights in your trash can? And I was like, no, that was an ice cube. It was so funny. And I didn't even realize that it even still worked. I thought the battery in it had died or something because it definitely wasn't blinking when I threw it in there. But I thought it was pretty funny that she'd thought I decorated or put lights in my trash can. I guess I can. Okay, so now we're moving to the back porch and Chance was taking out our little trash right there. And then I'm gonna clean this space down right here because this is where we're actually gonna put all of our food. And then Chance was so helpful during the party. He actually did a fire for us and manned the fire and everything. So that way we wouldn't be cold. And it was so cold that night. And usually it doesn't get very cold here, which I say that and it's gonna be freezing on Christmas Eve here. but. We were not used to cold weather like that, so it was it was a lot of fun just having everything outside and going from house to house, but it was also a very cold night and we were so grateful that Chance had put the fire out there. I guess I can help myself. So here you're gonna see I just have some star lights that I got from the Target dollar spot and I'm just gonna string these up here and put just a few little decorations I didn't go overboard or anything I just wanted something that looked a little bit like we were decorating for Christmas or winter or something Would you call me if I'm in 
Now I'm just putting out the silverware, the plates and the bowls, the plates and bowls I got from Target, and then I got those cute little monogram cups and napkins from the Horseshoe Crab. It's a little boutique in Savannah. They have the cutest stuff, so if you're ever in Savannah, definitely check that out. I just threw some pillows on the couch. And then I wanted to put a little blanket out here. I ended up bringing a couple blankets out here, but we did not use them because we literally just sat around the fire the entire time. All right, so this was later when we were all ready for our chili bar. You can see we have all of the ingredients and toppings and everything out that you would need. It turned out so good and we just had such a great night. I wish I could show you other videos and pictures, but it was kind of dark at the other houses, so I couldn't really get too much, but I hope y'all had fun hanging out with me today, seeing me get all the things checked off my to-do list, and I hope that it motivated you guys to get some things done too. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and say hey in the comments and introduce yourself. We would love to get to know you guys, and I hope y'all have a very Merry Christmas. If you need more motivation, go check out some of these other videos up on the screen, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!